am number one. I have come to dance. I will dance in the middle and then I run away. And you? How are you grade twos? It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow. We talked about the first is in the middle. If I'm in the middle, then look at this yellow chair. I am in the middle and this green chair is behind me. Look at me where I am. Can you see me? Concentration, concentration. Join the rhythm if you can. Grade twos, are you here? Now, where is the teacher? In grade one, we talked about the position of things. Where is the teacher? The teacher is between the chairs. Where is the teacher standing? The teacher is between the chairs. But now in math, I am the number. For example, I am number one. I have come to dance. I am dancing in the middle. Are you seeing me in the middle? Now, if I am number one and I am dancing in the middle, which number is before me? Are you seeing me? Ahead of me. Before means ahead. Before means ahead. So, which number is ahead of me? I am number one. I have come to do what? To dance. And I am dancing in the middle. So, which number is this? Someone tell me. Look at our numbers in the class. Look at the numbers in the class. We are counting 1 to 15. We are counting 1 to 15. So, if I am number one, look at me, I'm in the middle. The purple one, it's me. Now, who is in front? The green one. But now the chair, the yellow chair is the one that is in front. Now, the teacher is in the middle. So, which number is before the teacher? The teacher is the middle number. Are you seeing the number? The purple one is the teacher. Now, which number is before the teacher? Before the teacher is number zero. And what is the number after the teacher? What is the number after the teacher? The number after the teacher is two. Are we together? So I am dancing in the middle and then I run away. What if I run away and I come back now? I am number 10. I am number 10. I have come to dance. I will dance in the middle and then I run away. But before I run away, tell me, if I am number 10, which number is before me? Which number is before me? Look at number 10. Where is number 10? Number 10 is the orange one there. Look at the board there. Number 10. So, which number is before the teacher? The number that is before the teacher is 9. And which number is after the teacher? The number after the teacher is Someone repeat, it's 11. Very good. Now, look at our board. We are talking about more and less. What does more mean? More means plus something. More means when you add something to what you have. I have more oranges. Why? Because for you, you have how many? You have one orange, and for me, I have two oranges. So, if you only have one and I have two, I had one like you, then I added another one, which means I have more oranges than you have. So means is more means to add something on what you have. What about less? Less is little. Less is little. If I have two oranges and you have one orange, what can you say about the two of us? You have less oranges than mine because I have two and you have one. So less means little. Less means little. So when we talk about less, we are reading numbers using more and less. What does before mean? And we are talking about less means, less means, this one is less now. Before is replaced by less one. And after is replaced by more one after is replaced by more so if I'm told I have 22 the number in the middle is 22 so what am I supposed to do to get the missing number here what am I supposed to do less we have, what have we said less is less means reducing this number so it will be 22 take away 
one do you remember we count backward 22 in the head one finger out so we say 22 counting backwards 22 21 so when we talk about 22 less it is 21 what of 22 more 22 more will be 22 plus a one counting forward 22 in the head one finger out so what do you say 22 23 so my missing number here is 23 very good very good now here the number is 34 someone to try this the number in the second question is 34 and we want to find out what is less 34 and more 34 we are talking about one less one less and more less so when they say one less it means take away one and when they say one more they mean plus one so we are coming here 34 very good 34 is the number in the middle someone to try to try it so 34 counting backward 34 in my head one finger out so we say 34 33 very good so in other words we are doing 34 take away one what will we get we will get 33 nice now what if we are talking about 34 plus one more one one more 34 it will be 34 plus one what is 34 plus one teacher 34 plus one is 35 that is one more we have the number 59 we have the number 59 what happens 59 we are talking about minus one plus one so 59 less it will be 59 take away one what is 59 take away one 59 in the head one finger out so we say 59 58 very good what if it is 59 plus 1 59 60 that is nice now you have two questions here to calculate i'm not going to help you do that but now i have another question what if the question you have been given says it is two more my number here i've been given here a number and this number they are saying this number they are saying it is 23 but now they are saying four more and this one is less four four more and four less what does it mean they are meaning on this number for you to get the missing number here it will be 23 plus 4 that is more and for you to get the missing number here it will be 23 take away 4 meaning subtract less means reduce so let's see 23 less 4 you say 23 in the head four fingers out so what happens 23 four fingers out so we are saying 23 we go backward 22 21 20 and 19 so here the number that is less here is 19 and here when you're talking about four more what are we supposed to do we are increasing this number by four so we are saying four in the head 23 in the head four fingers out so we say 23 24 25 26 27 so the missing number here will be 27 very good what if i've been given here as 64 64 what's gonna happen i will do the same it is four less so i'm reducing this 64 by four so i'll say 64 63 62 61 and 60 so then four less here the number before will be 60 
And what of the number after? I'm having 64 in the head, so it will be 64. We reduce, we, we increase 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. That is how we calculate the number more and less. Reading numbers using more and less. So when you go home, can you copy this? And go and fill in the blank spaces and tell me if you're told to reduce by one, what will you get? If you're told to increase by one, what will you get? And so tomorrow we will explore more on this, maybe on numbers up to 100. Remember, this one is only up to which numbers? Up to number 70. Any question? Any question up to there? So that is basically we did this in PP2. Do you remember? When we were talking about the number before, the number after, and the number between. So this is the number before, this is the number between, and this is the number after. So when you're told, which number comes between 21 and 23? It is 22. Which number comes after 22? It is 23. And which number comes before 22? It is 21. So we're talking about before, between, after. Before, this is the number before. That is if you are adding plus 1, minus 1. This is the number between, like the way the teacher was standing between the two chairs, and this is the number after. Is that okay? Grade twos, are we together? Up to there. Any problem? Teacher, there is no problem. Very good. And you know this one is the same way we did the number pattern. It is counting in ones. Forward and backward. Do you remember when we did, we did the counting in ones? If I'm told count from 22 in ones up to 30, it is just 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And if I'm told count backwards in ones, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Are we together? We can use this when you're doing pattern. You can use this when you're finding the number before and number after. So if someone asks you, which number comes after 39? Which number comes after 39? After 39, you add, you increase. After means plus 1. Which number comes before 39? You reduce. After, before. Are we together? After, before. Okay? So, up to there. Any question? Any question? Are we together? Is that okay? Very good. Thank you very much and hope to see you in the next lesson.